Yo, what's up, guys? Today, uh, we are going to work on this kata on code words, pick picks. So in this kata, we will write a function that returns the positions and the values of the picks or the local maxima of a numeric array. So for example, they give us this array and the maximum position is at position 3 and the value is 5. So right off the bat, we can tell that um, it's the local maxima would have to go up like this and then go down. So at that maxim uh, at that position, the previous value will the previous value and the uh, immediately af like after value will always be less than the local maxima. One thing to note is that the first and last elements of the array will not be considered as peak because you know we don't know what comes before or after. And finally, we have to be beware of uh, plateaus such as this one because this one has a peak. However, this one does not. This is a special case and we have to pay attention to this one when we code our solution. Let's begin by uh, defining our function pick, uh, pick picks and this function will take in an array and we need something to store the position of the picks that we find and I will call this max uh, and this is a list and I will also define a dictionary where uh, where we will um, use to return the output of the function so inside this function we begin uh, iterating through the array so let's say for i in range of so since we skip the first and the last position, so range would have would begin from one, and then the end value would be uh, length of array uh, minus one. Okay, so it we are iterating through this array, and um, if array. Um, i minus 1 less than array i and greater than array of i plus 1 so this is what we were saying earlier uh, so when this happened i is the local maxima which is the highest point uh, in an array and when this happened we will append max dot append the i which is the position the index of the local maxima however we need to take care of the plateau right so so when a plateau happen we will have a condition where else where um this also happen, but uh, this is the position of i and position i plus one would be equal, I think. So this is how uh, how we define the uh, plateau. So for example, this one has a peak. So i would be equal to i plus 1. And we also have to take care of this one as well. So for this one, we find out that it is a pick because i equal i plus 1. However, for this example, 3. It, it does not have a peak, a maximum 
uh, peak. So we would need to keep iterating uh, until we find a value that greater than this, and we would know that this this doesn't have a local maxima. So when this happen, we can say for j in range of i to length array length array is minus minus one so we start from the position i and then we just loop to the rest of the array and we need to check for a condition where if array of j is greater than array j plus one so we loop into this and if the as soon as we hit the condition where two is greater than one j is greater than j plus one then we can conclude that this is we that uh, there is a local maxima and we can append max dot append the value of i of i to the list and then we can break and we need to break out the loop because we don't we don't need to loop to um we don't need to loop to the rest of the loop and uh, L if uh, array uh, array of j uh, less than array j plus one. So when this happen, then it is not uh, a local maxima, and we can just break out of the loop as well. Okay. So this is our algorithm to finding the local maxima. Now we need to construct our dictionary uh, so that we can return the appropriate output. So for this one, we can say parse would be equal to uh, the position max. And let's see pause and picks so max is a a list already okay so pause and then we can say the dic dictionary of uh, picks this should equal to uh, also another list and we we'll this is the value at the position array of i for i in max. And this function will return the dictionary. Let's test this out on this these two list and we call the pick picks of this function, I mean this array. So it will say position one picks at value is two. And if I change this to three, it would return an empty list. Okay, so we can submit this code on code words and see what they say. Okay, looks good. Uh, I don't think uh, this is the most optimal uh, solution because we're using like nested loops and all that stuff. So if you think you have a, a different solution that you know is more clear and less complicated, let me know in the comments. Uh, however, I think this code is good enough uh, for now. Thanks for watching.